All right, in this video, I'm gonna go through my stock photography revenue report for June, walk you through all the sales I had in June, all the interesting things that happened with those sales. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and take a look at all my sales so far this year. So um, June marks the end of half a year. So I can go through and take a look at how all the different sites have played out over the year to date. We can, we'll take a look at my revenue for the first year. You know, I do these reports every month and I've actually managed to do one every month this year. So all this information is already on the channel but I think it's good to look at what the totals are right so you can kind of see you know every month is a little different but what is the best site or the best couple sites so far in 2021 so let's get into it so my best site again this past month was Fine Art America. And again, it also came from one sale. Now I always get comments down in the, about you know which photos am I selling on Fine Art America, what type of thing sells on Fine Art America. So I'll go through and show you that right now. Okay, let me zoom in here. So this was the photo that sold this past month. It was a photo I took a long time ago. I probably took that like about eight years ago now, nine years ago. Um, and it was in Banff and saw some people biking. And you can kind of see here, I'll go and zoom in a bit. You know, not a great photo, but I think it's a pretty good photo. Um, I suspect somebody bought this photo because they've biked Banff and they wanted this to kind of remember Banff or remember that road by. So that was the one sale that I got in June um, on Fine Art America. Now, next on the list was Shutterstock. Um, Shutterstock was my second best site. Not as good a site uh, month as I had last month on Shutterstock, but I didn't get like a large sale. So that's kind of an average uh, month for me on Shutterstock. Maybe a bit above average, but not bad for June. Next is Pexels. Pexels, again, a pretty average month, but not bad considering it's a free site. Um, I always do get a lot of comments about, you know, how can you make money on Pexels? Well, it's all from donations. So if you look at that, basically I made $30 and that was from four donations on Pexels, okay? Um, I think it worked out to there was like a $15 donation and then the rest of them, the other $15 came from the other three donations. My next site was Deposit Photos. Again, pretty average month for them. And then this past month, I made a sale on SmugMug. So SmugMug is where I host my personal website, souvenirpixels.com. And, you know, because it's my personal site, SmugMug takes a very small cut compared to some of the other sites like Shutterstock. So I get to keep the majority of that. So one sale was $24. Next was Adobe stock, uh, not a great month for Adobe stock. However, one of the things that did happen, although it happened in July, so you're not gonna see it in this revenue report, but I'll talk about it here, is that if you watched last week's report, I had submitted some of my photos to the free section of Adobe stock. And I got a notification actually on July 1st that two of those photos got accepted. So that was $10. So I'll get to, uh, $10 in my July, Revenue came from you know putting photos in the free section. That being said, the email they sent is that they're still adding adding photos to that free collection. So I do have other photos that are under consideration, and um, you know so there may be more by the time we do the next revenue report. So make sure you you know subscribe to the channel and you can see what happens with that. What I'll do is at the end of July I'll go through and look at all the photos that have been accepted to the free section, and I'll actually share them on next month's video. So I'm gonna show you the types of things that they've decided to accept. I can kind of talk about, look at the sales those had before versus the $5 they gave me and kind of get some idea about, you know, how much more revenue I'm getting by putting them in the free section on Adobe stock. All right, next is 123RF. Again, a fairly normal uh, month there. Can stock photo, bit higher for can stock photo. That was only two sales. I think one of those was a $10 sale and the other one was a 40 cent sale. So can stock photo is another one of those sites where most of the time I get a 40 cent sale, but sometimes these $10 sales come in and so it pushes it up to mid in the list. Pixabay, got a couple of donations there. Um, Dreams time, again, not much and some of the other sites. Now, the, so my total for all of June was $221. And that's been pretty good for me this year. I think that's my second highest site. Why don't we actually go in and I'll take a look at all my stats for the year, and then we can take a look at what the best sites were. If you take a look here, here's that 221. So if we compare it to the other months of the year, it was my second highest site. So May was my second highest month, I mean. May 
was my highest month and June was my second highest month. And again, I mentioned this on the channel before, but that's really typical for me. A lot of my photos I take on summer vacation and because I take them on summer vacation, they're good for, you know, summer advertisements for companies or summer blog posts or summer social media posts. So a lot of times people are planning out their summer campaigns in May, June, July, and that's when a lot of my sales happen. So that was quite good. Um, you take a look here. So, so far year to date, I've made about $1,100 off my photos. Um, so I'm kind of trending towards $2,000 for the year. And if you want to take a look at some of the top sites, so Shutterstock overall has been my top site this year with $230. Okay, followed uh, you know very closely by Fine Art America. Okay, so you look like Fine Art America is less consistent than Shutterstock. If you kind of take a look here, every month I make a bit of money on Shutterstock, and that's pretty consistent. Now it could be anywhere from twelve dollars to eighty dollars, but it's never zero. However, with Fine Art America, you do see some zeros in there. Again, it's a lot smaller smaller sales, but you'll get you know three months I made no sales at all, but the other three months made much higher sales and that made it my second highest site for the year. Okay. Um, that's pretty typical. The art of demand sites, you know what I mean? I make a few sales, we make more money on them. Whereas the stock sites, you know, the popular stock sites, at least like Shutterstock, Deposit Photos, Adobe Stock, you get a pretty consistent amount of, um, amount of sales. And you see that here with Deposit Photos as well, you know, really ranging between 15 and $32. Okay. Another thing to note here is that Pexels has become fairly consistent too, as far as the donations go, right? It was definitely not this way a year and a half ago. Do you know what I mean? It was kind of more some months I get a fair amount and then some months I get nothing or close to nothing. But if you take a look here, my Pexels donations, March was my lowest month at about $10 and then it tops out at about $30. So, you know, it's, it's a, the consistency of like a stock site, right? You know, Pexels has beaten every out um, Adobe stock, right, which ranges from $12 to $23, right? So that is one thing to note uh, about Pexels in particular is that it is fairly consistent for me if you get to, you know, those higher ranks. And I have a lot of, a lot of you know, photos on there that are in collections. I get a lot of views and that's how I get the Pexels. Um, and it's actually better than Adobe stock. Interestingly enough, Pixabay is, you know, I do get some zeros. I don't get a lot of donations on Pixabay eBay, but I get larger donations for some reason. And even though we have those zeros, it's still fairly high on the list, right? It's even above Adobe stock, which, you know, is somewhat surprising for me. I thought Adobe stock, or actually, no, nope, maybe it's not. They're in the wrong order there. <laughs> Um, so, but it's about the same as Adobe stock. So that's just one thing to know. And you can kind of scroll down here about what I get on the other sites. So anyways, hopefully you found that useful short video this week. Um, I, you know, have been quite busy out taking more photos, which is nice. I'm, you know, I haven't got around to uploading a lot of them yet, but I do plan to upload a lot more photos recently, which will hopefully affect my sales better for the rest of the summer. Um, Anyways, as always, you know, best of luck selling your photos online and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks.